Thank you, Tom. The Access Oklahoma project about to cost a lot more to build. The Turnpike Authority announcing the project costs will run a little over budget by a few billion dollars. Fox 25's Grant Palmer joins us in studio. Grant, a few billion, that's, that's a little more than a little here. Why are they saying it's going to cost more? Yeah, Adam, Executive Director Joe E. Kelly says the cost increase is due to inflation, but one state center I spoke with claims the Turnpike Authority has a history of running over budget. A painter, if you had a paint business and you painted houses for a paint business, you could not have a 60% cost overrun and expect the customer to pay it. Just won't happen. Um, you can't write a contract and then come back with a 60% cost overrun. I don't know of any business that would stay in business doing that. State Senator Mary Boren very critical of the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority as its executive director announced Thursday the Access Oklahoma project will be a few billion dollars more expensive than its initial projected cost of five billion. Currently, and this the number that's going to be shown at the bottom on the screen up there is 8.2 billion. And that is going to be what the stack of receipts will be when we get when we end this program. E. Kelly is blaming the cost increase on inflation. Everything that we have in this program is more expensive. And I do mean every line item is more expensive than it was when we estimated it four years ago. The biggest swing in this uh, being inflation, but but that at the time when we presented this, it was a net present value to early 2022. But Bourne says this has been a consistent problem for the Turnpike Authority. Since uh, it was announced in 2022, I was quickly informed by my constituents that the OTA and the Oklahoma Department of Transportation has chronic problems of cost overruns. That was one of the concerns that people had about the OTA is that they can't stay within a budget and they underestimate cost and they overestimate revenue. Bourne says two interim studies were done in 2022 to clarify those concerns to the State Bond Review Commission, legislators, and the Turnpike Authority. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like that um, they're getting the message from Oklahomans and drivers who are tired of being exploited for these cost overruns and who will ultimately be paying the price. Bourne says she encourages Oklahomans to call the governor's office and members of the OTA to urge them to do a better job of projecting costs for the projects they take on. Reporting in studio, Grant Palmer, Fox 25 News. Three people have now been